So I just came across this new AI video generation tool that got released at the end of last year. It's called Assistive AI. I've been playing around and testing its features in the last week to see how it compares to some of the industry leaders. So in this video, I'm gonna showcase its capabilities. Then I'm gonna tell you what I like and dislike about it. And stick around at the end guys, because I'm going to place this tool where it belongs on my new AI video generation tier list. Before I show you the interface on the website, I just wanted to show you guys that they did have a Discord. You can go in there and actually generate a video. Now they only let you generate one video a day and then you get this message, which absolutely pissed me off. Like change that to three. Anyway, moving on, this is the website. So you can see this is the interface, which I like. I like how simple it is. So you've got the option here to enter a prompt. You have the option there to add an image and at the bottom here you have a community and you also have a my library tab before we do some of our own prompts i'm just going to look at some of the images and explain them when you hover over them they start playing and when they add text like on here this is the prompt that was used to generate the actual video where it says image prompt that means it was an image provided by Midjourney or whichever AI art uh, generator you're using. But here's an example. This was an image most likely generated from Midjourney. I like the rotation, it's pretty cool. Here's another one. It looks like some sort of AI robot that's evil. Here's a candle with some lovely flowers. And you can see here at the bottom, this was actually the prompt that generated this video. Here's another example. This is the prompt that was used which is a Porsche GT3 driving fast in Miami streets. You get some pretty good results there. Anyway, let's generate some of our own prompts and I'm gonna guide you guys through what type of prompts this video generator likes. I'm gonna get ChatGPT to help me out here, okay? So what I've done is I've asked it to provide me three prompts, a short prompt, a medium prompt and a large prompt. If you're thinking to yourself, why did I write short instead of small? Because I'm an absolute idiot and I need to turn my brain on. Turn your fucking brain on. Fuck you. The reason why I've done three of these prompts is I wanted to put it to the test to see if it likes less detail or if it wants more details. And I'm gonna show you guys now what it likes. So let's copy this one, which is a train speeding through the countryside. Let's go here. Now, before we press enter, we wanna go down here where it says camera and we wanna see settings as well. Now for camera, it literally says strength of motion, low, medium, or high. This will control the strength of motion in the camera. Now I'm gonna click medium for now. Now settings, we have consistency with text, normal, higher, and highest. Based on my experience with other video generators, most likely what this means is the highest prompt will be more specific to what you're entering. And I'm assuming the lower the prompt will be more creative. I'm gonna go with normal for now. Now for stealth mode, guys, I still do not know what this does. I have tested it. If you know what it does, please comment down below and let me know. All right, let's generate that one. So it's generating the video and it's saying that this will usually take three to four minutes. Now you can generate more than one video at a time. You just have to click here and it takes you back and you can enter the other prompts. So I'm gonna grab the medium prompt. I'm gonna enter medium for the motion again, and I'm gonna leave it as normal again, and let's see the results. Same thing for the large detailed one. Let's grab that. Let's go back here, enter it. Make sure you're clicking medium, and we're gonna go normal, and let's go imagine. So I've actually gone back to ChatGPT and got more prompt examples. This one's a cow pouncing on a toy and I've entered it into the generator. One thing I just wanted to point out is that it's currently generating six videos in one go. So, so far I've been waiting for maybe about three to four minutes. So let's see if they finish soon. Okay, I actually generated more now. So I've generated up to nine things in one time and our first video is done. So we'll check that out in a second. I just wanna wait till all of them are finished. All of those are done. Look, they probably took less than 10 minutes. I'd say somewhere between five to 10 minutes, but I generated like nine of them. So that's fit, it's pretty fair. Here's the first one, which was our short prompt, a train speeding through the countryside. And the results are pretty good. The motion it is really good. That's one thing I can tell you right now, the movement and the train, it actually looks like a legitimate motion and movement of a train. So 
very good there. Here's the medium prompt, which is still pretty good results as well. The camera motion's good, the motion of the train. And one thing you can tell is the tracking of the object. The camera is moving at the same time. That's very important. So I like that. The medium prompt is also good as well. This is the large prompt. We're getting the same results with the motion of the train and the motion of the camera. I would like to have seen some of the clouds in the background moving as well, but would they be moving because they're so far away? Look, either way, we can say that a small, medium, and a large prompt are all very good prompts. So that's one thing I'm very, very impressed by. Now here's the next prompt, which is a cat pouncing on a toy. You can see there, I don't know, the cat gets a bit mongulated, so yeah, not really good in that result. Let's check the medium one. It's a little bit different. It's not pouncing, but it's still moving around. It's not there yet. Medium is, is definitely not there yet. So this is the large prompt and you can see the cats moving, uh, but it's all getting mongulated. One thing with all of these video generators, when the feet are moving, I've noticed they all sort of get a bit skewed like that. So that's currently the challenge right now, walking and leg movements. <laughs> So yeah, no, I'm not happy with this result either. Here's the next one, which is a fish swimming in a clear stream. I'm going to be very honest with you guys. This result is, I mean, you could look at this and honestly think that this is a legitimate video. So not bad, honestly, very good. But this is the medium one. Yeah, and you can tell there the, the fish is completely, I don't even, it doesn't even look like it's in the water. So yeah, not happy with that result. And here's the large prompt as well. Yeah, so th these results weren't good as well. Now I've gone to mid journey and I've generated some images that I'm gonna enter onto here. Let's see how the results come out. What's interesting is when I clicked onto here and I actually entered the first image, it didn't even let me click imagine. It just automatically generate, started generating the video. So it didn't let me select any of the parameters here. Let's try again. So let's go here and I'll enter this one. See, it's automatically generating it for me. So this time around, I'm going to set the parameters before I upload the, um, the image. Okay, so I'm going to go, I'm going to stick with medium. I'm getting good results with medium. I'm not going to go higher and higher. I'm going to stay with normal, okay? So this was the first one that we generated. Uh, now the, the results, yeah, I mean, it, they're quite shocking. The image wasn't the best image, but yeah, I mean, it hasn't really... I mean, we can see people walking, but yeah, there's not really anything moving. I'm going to go back. I'm going to make, because that was the first one that I did. I'm going to make sure I click strength in motion in medium and we'll, we'll keep it the same. I'll just see if that's what, why it came out bad. So let's see. This was the other image that we uploaded and it didn't let us control the, uh, the motion parameters as well. So I'm assuming they were on the lowest setting and you can see there, the, the results suck. So yeah, not really happy with that result either. Well, we'll generate that one again as well, medium, and yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try it again. All right, this one, I was able to select medium settings for the motion, and I left the, uh, the, the, the other setting to normal. So we're getting some good movement there in the clouds, they're all moving together. They're moving a bit too quick. Um, I didn't go to the highest uh, motion, I only went to medium. Um, and you can see there the water is rippling a little bit as well. Um, yeah, I mean, not amazing. I'm, I'm not like amazed with these results. Here's the next image and this result now is a little bit better. We can see that the clouds are moving. The water is rippling a little bit as well. So I was happy with that. Uh, nothing amazing though, okay? But this is the first good example. And we've got the city skyline. I do like how the camera is panning to the right. It does give it a bit of a cinematic effect. Uh, not like nothing, nothing amazing though. The clouds aren't really moving. So yeah, not bad though. Then we have this example, which isn't too bad. It gets a little bit difficult with the birds. Even Runway ML and Leonardo, they struggle with birds as well. Uh, but water, very impressive. The rippling, the boat moving towards the camera. Uh, this is also another good example as well. Not perfect, but I, I like it. It's not too bad. This one was a bit of a letdown because I wanted to see everyone sort of moving. Um, it, it did something a bit interesting though. It zoomed in on someone, which I never have seen before. So yeah, an interesting example. Then we have this example, which is one of the better ones. I like how the camera is panning to the left. Clouds are moving. So 
Uh, very nice, I really like this one. And this was me re-attempting the first one. Uh, the people are moving, yeah, but I mean, you're not really getting anything special. So was really happy with that one. And I think I got the same results for the other one as well. So yeah, look, I mean, there's nothing really different there as well. So let's talk about the pros and cons now, and I'll go through them quickly. The first thing that I'll say that's a pro is the interface itself. It's simple, it's easy to figure out where you have to click, and I like that it's really just scrolling up and down. Perfect, so I like that. Interface is good. Another pro for the, another pro is the camera movement and rotation. Uh, we'll talk back to this example. Like this is a very amazing scene. Like the way that it pans uh, from such a long distance uh, it is incredible. Here's another example as well, the way that the speed in which it's moving, I do like it. Here's another example as well. So definitely a pro. The camera rotation and movement is definitely something I'm impressed with. Another pro as well is the quality of video. I'm not going to say it's perfect. I'm just going to say it's average, but it means it's uh, definitely not a fail. So uh, very good. So another pro was actually the pricing. We have now three different options to choose from. I'm currently using the Plus, which is only $18.99, and you get about 60, te 60 text to video generations. It looks like they've just, uh, they're just about to release this new option, which is Super, $29.99. So even that's not crazy uh, expensive. So, I mean, I hope if the video generation gets better, more features come out, and that price stays the same or goes lower, I'd be very, very, very impressed with um, the, the pricing. So this is another pro. Let's go through the cons quickly. And now a lot of these will be in comparison to some of the other leaders in this space, like Leonardo and Runway ML. The first thing was that there was no option to select an aspect ratio or the video generation. So I was really just generating videos 16 by nine. You also weren't able to select any specific styles like cinematic, anime, that was another thing it didn't have. There was also no specific seed generation you could select or you couldn't lock in a specific seed to get similar generations. Next, we had the uh, parameter context. Now, what I mean by that is there were times where I wasn't really sure what the actual setting meant. And the main one I wanted to mention was the stealth option. There wasn't like a tab there explaining what that actually meant. So I had to use uh, generations to figure it out and I still don't even know what it is. So that's another thing they need to add. They need, there needs to be some sort of um, little text there explaining uh, what uh, each uh, setting means. Another thing that I noticed is that earlier in the week when I was testing it, they capped me at 30 daily generations where I had more generation credits, but they capped me at uh, 30, de 30 uh, daily generations, which I wasn't really a fan of. Another thing to mention is that there's no tutorials. There could be a video tutorial uh, or something just explaining how it all works. The community aspect could be better. Uh, in Leonardo AI, they give you the option to like other people's posts. There were some bugs that I noticed as well, and I'm sure they're gonna be able to fix this. When you click the generate image, you weren't really able to scroll down or click on anything else. You have to sort of go up and press the top and go back to the front page. And yeah, it's one thing I noticed, I'm sure you guys will fix that. There's also no image generator. A lot of the other leaders have image generators. So um, this specifically is just a, a video generator. There's also no manual controls as well, or you can't provide instructions on how you'd like the video uh, to be generated. So uh, that was another setting it didn't have. All right, so let's see where we will rank this on my tier list. So I've already got Runway ML and uh, Leonardo AI, which I have tested. Go check out those videos if you'd like. Now to give my uh, thoughts on assistive AI, I think it's good. The, the fact that look, we're talking about it hasn't been out for more than a month. That's one thing. The other thing is the pricing. I'm very happy with the pricing. If they're able to keep that pricing low and they're able to improve on the overall settings and features uh, and it's able to compete in the future, I can definitely see this uh, moving up, moving its way up the, uh, the, the tier ranking. So uh, where do I think uh, this one uh, lies? in the image to video, text to video generator, uh, I would say it's a C. Um, no, so D would be a fail to me. Uh, C, I would say is an average. Um, the reason why I haven't put anything in S is because uh, I'm not happy 
with uh, everything, all of the generators here. Not, none of them are perfect. And I'm, I'm gonna be doing a video about this as well. I'm gonna break down the tier list and I'm gonna explain why it's in that uh, tier and uh, I'll sort of explain. And I'm gonna do a video of my tier list breaking down each video generator after I do a video on Pika and Genmo AI. So that's five video generators. So once I do those ones, I'll come back uh, and we'll do the rankings. Now, now mind you, this is a live ranking, so this can change at any point. So right now, this is where I believe it's then. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, give a thumbs up, especially if you liked the video. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.